Um, just a, a, a sense of us being a bit lethargic, not quite at the races, uh, which is inexcusable when you play for England. Um, and not being able to get a grip hold in the game through a lack of discipline. Like there wasn't, you know, there wasn't a, um, it wasn't necessarily a case of, you know, not wanting it. I think it was almost a case of wanting it too much. Um, we were a little bit jumpy, a little bit twitchy. And I think that was a, a big cause of, a lot of the penalties, especially in the first half, we we tried to address them, um, but yeah, it probably wasn't wasn't done quick enough. So um, a lot of learnings, a lot of stuff that we need to work on this week. But um, exciting thing is, it's, it's game one of of the Six Nations, and there's a lot of there's a lot of rugby ahead of us. So uh, a lot of opportunities for us to grow as a team. Yeah, it's, it is, of course, it's going to be difficult um, because we're very proud of playing for our country and, and we realise that we have an opportunity to to represent our country during a, a pretty difficult time and we didn't do that well enough today. Um, but the important thing for us to do, and it's a sign of, of a good player, the great players are able to bounce back and get excited about what's next. So um, I am already excited about the opportunity of, of getting back onto the training field on Monday morning and working out what went wrong and where where we need to go. And um, I'm hoping that, or I know that the rest of the group will be too. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, there's going to be a lot of a lot of chat around us being poor, but they also executed their game plan very, very well. Um, you know, they've, they're a team that have been growing for the last couple of years now and um, really impressive performance from those guys. They've got some real threats out wide, but I also uh, they, they gave us a few troubles up front in the set piece as well. So um, that's something that we're, we're going to have to we're going to have to look at. But massive credit to them and I'm just wishing them all the best for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, well, physically though, I, we felt I, I actually felt good. It's just I felt like it emotionally. We almost got drained through not getting the positive outcomes that we we had every time that we were, we were tr trying to apply pressure or applying pressure on Scotland. We'd let them out through through ill discipline, um, and that that sort of takes away from you emotionally. And uh, yeah, I guess you know that was the thing. I, I don't think it was down to us being undercooked rugby wise because of the way that we've been training. So um, I'm sure that that will be spun somehow through the media. But um, I personally didn't think that that was the case. Um, but we just let our inaccuracies and our ill discipline to to get to us a little bit too much, and then the game sort of we were always chasing our tails a little bit after that. Sorry, what's being said on the field or now? Yeah, what's it? Have you sat in the dressing room? Well, that that it that it isn't that it isn't all ladies' fault. Of course, like all great coaches will take responsibility when things aren't going well, and then they'll take a back seat when they are, which is exactly what Eddie does. We as players need to have a, a very good understanding of what went wrong today and why. Uh, what we are very good at is being very open and honest. Uh, we have specific sessions, uh, you know, communication sessions where all these things will be addressed and that will happen early on in the week. It will give us something to get after and you know we'll then be able to transfer that into training, which, um, like I said before, I'm, I'm really excited about the week ahead and hopefully being given another opportunity to represent England.
Yeah, 100%. Sometimes you need a kick. Um, unfortunately, you know, we, d we wouldn't have liked it to have been the case. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I've got no doubt that, you know, I'm already excited about the prospect of getting back to it and being able to try and fix things and, and being able to give an, another opportunity to get it right. Um, you know, we, when we played Italy last time in the Six Nations, I thought they came with a relatively similar plan uh, to what Scotland did today. So it's going to be a great, great opportunity for us to get a few things right that we didn't that we didn't today. Cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.